Yo, what's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning back into another episode of Hustle with Julian. So today I'm going to be talking about the Fuel Man card, Net 30 card. I got approved for it recently with no PG, no personal guarantee, no hard pull, just using the business credit alone. Now, there is a trick to doing this and to getting approved with the no PG. And it's pretty interesting. I don't know why some companies make it this complicated, but basically in short, essentially what you want to do is to apply for the card for the fuel man card through their website. And then before you submit, you just back out and cancel the application. And basically somebody will give you a call a few days later. I'm going to include the lady's phone number that gave me a call. Maybe you can uh, just give her a call and skip through the BS of applying and then backing out before you hit submit. I don't know if that will help or not, but I'll include it anyways to show you guys kind of what the application looks like so you can see for yourself. And always I recommend if you're applying for no PG credit and they ask you to submit your social, always make sure your experience locked, your Equifax is locked and your TransUnion is locked just in case they pull it for whatever reason. Um, aside from that, they're pretty generous with limits. I only asked for a $500 limit because I really don't spend more than that on average on a monthly basis. But uh, they went ahead and gave me a thousand. So I'm sure if you guys have like a trucking business or something like that, they'll probably give you exactly what you asked for, if not more. So keep that in mind and stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is the website right here, fuelman.com. And it gives you a few different choices. You can go through and read through some of their benefits and things like that. But uh, when you go to apply for a card, you just want to hit Fuel Man Offers. You can go through here. And then once this loads for you, you can choose from the three different cards that they have. And honestly, I didn't look too much into these to see if like these other ones are net 30 or not or what the situation is for them. But I remember I put an application in for this card right here and for this card right here. But I think this is the one I got approved for, I'm pretty sure. But either way, you could do it both because all I did is I clicked on it and then I went to apply, I filled in all the application and then right before I hit submit, I just pressed exit and I exited out of the application. So you'll enter all your information here, your business info and all that stuff. And then right before you hit submit, all you gotta do is exit out. Now, once I exited out of that one, I went ahead and I applied for this next one here. And I don't have the card yet, I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one I got approved for right here. But uh, yeah, you just, you click on it, you fill out all the information and then right before you hit submit, you just exit out. And somebody should give you a call in like, you know, three to five days. And she, when I talked to the lady on the phone and she had asked me, hey, did you apply for this? And I'm like, yeah, I did apply, but I didn't see a no personal guarantee option. So that's why I didn't go with you guys. And she immediately says, oh, that's what I'm here for. I do no PG. For some reason, they don't have it on the website and I can help you with that. After that, she took some of my information. She asked me a couple questions and she's like, okay, great. I'll get back to you within the next day or so and let you know if you've been approved. Probably about four hours later, I got an email saying, yes, you've been approved for $1,000.